Yeah. A Maybe medium maybe. level of fine. Tell tell me about the tour, that last tour you guys did. Oh, oh yeah. what about it? <laughs> you wanna, we, we had a major vehicle breakdown. Our our front men quit with no notice like a week or two after. Um, I had give a, in that mic more. Okay. Seriously, you can't hear me? That's better. Eat it. Okay. That's better. That's better. a lot better. Um, I had a debilitating but not contagious yeah. sinus infection, and Ooh, I wanted to die every bad. day. Oh, like and second I, day? No, like on the way. I forgot that. I went there, to the there doctor was so much before. That happened, for God. <laughs> it was four days and so I was much shit popped up. Like I wanted someone to kill me mm. every single day until maybe the very last day it started getting better. Really? With, like severe uh, like decongestants and allergy meds and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. It wasn't COVID. We're fine. No, it was a sinus <laughs> infection because like it was my first real was sickness worry, since the world shut down mm -hmm. and my body was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck, dude? Step the fuck up, Kyle. What the fuck, dude? That's what my body was doing. Because <laughs> like, we had to go to an urgent care in what state? Because it got worse after I went to the doctor the first time. So yep. I went to an urgent care in like Indiana mm. and they're like, no yeah, no, it's just a sinus infection. Here's your super strong allergy meds and your Allegra or whatever the fuck it mm. was. And then the Allegra kicked in. You ever see that meme of the, pe the beaten up Pikachu on the couch? Yeah. Sitting there like, <laughs> that's what I felt like on the fucking Allegra. Like I was just sitting in the car. We were driving and it was just a, an ocean of windmills out the window. And I remember just sitting there on these decongestants looking at the windmills like, I think I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> like, God, hearing the Twilight music tour. in my head. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight up not having a good time, bro. <laughs> dude. It's true. How's he <laughs> not having a good time, dude? Uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of yeah. like, uh, you, you guys remember the band The Outliers? Yeah. 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 Like, uh, you might have. I'm not so familiar. Is they, their logo oh, like a weird shape thing? A couple circle, shapes? Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. Well, that's like when they their last tour that they did before they broke up or whatever. Uh, their drummer f basically found out he had diabetes while on tour. Oh fuck! Yeah, he was like, like near death basically is what he felt like because he was like too high on his sugars and stuff, and he didn't mm. realize like he didn't know he had diabetes, and like the whole tour was just like absolute death and diarrhea and puking and. Just feeling absolutely sick as fuck, I and mean, you know they're way the fuck away from home, right? And yeah, and then they come back, and you know he he spent like one night at home and couldn't get out of bed. So yeah. his wife brought him, and and you're like, yeah, you got diabetes, dude. Hmm. Like holy fuck! So oh, like shit. a whole new like lifestyle change after yeah. that, you know, with your eating habits, and I, I was imagine. like, holy <clears throat> shit, man. What a way to find out. Yeah. Mm. I'd say the most momentous thing that happened on the tour was our truck breaking down and we got stuck mm. in a gravel parking lot in Indiana in like the smallest town you can possibly Ashley, imagine. Indiana. Ashley, Indiana. And we ate at the Ashley Bar and Grill or whatever the name of it was. These, yeah. These people had never heard of like rock music at all. Like it was just country. And, really? Yeah. Oh um, man! And so we had Cody's truck that died towed for 400 miles back to home, and we from rented like a Indianapolis to because we had a camper. We rented a camper to travel in, like towed by Cody's truck. Cody's trans transmission died, and we had to like glide off the expressway into this oh. dirt parking lot. We kept the like the pet the couple days before that because that was only that was after the second show, second third night night to get the first one. So like blah blah blah. And it kept getting the light like overheating, and we're like, "Oh, we're fucked!" Like just tried to yeah. baby it and get by. And yeah, we, right. We did not. <laughs> yeah, and it's because we didn't eat at Denny's that morning. Yeah, <laughs> that was a daily thing. Denny's every Denny's morning. Denny's breakfast. We had Absolutely. to rent a U-Haul that could tow the camper. So we had what, like a sixteen-foot U-Haul towing a twenty-six-foot camper, <laughs> and we were going through oh, roundabouts. It was fifty with it. feet of vehicle, dude. That was yeah. tough to drive. And yeah. we were just barely on time for our home state show because yeah. we had a bit. We had had a hell hell of a time, and like people started saying, "Yeah, we're probably not going to make it back to Michigan for the show." I'm like, "The fuck, we aren't. Mm -hmm. I don't care what we have to do. <laughs> we're, we're playing we're this there. show." Yeah. 
So it Damn. Was a thing. That was a major hit on time, like stress, time, money. Because yeah. we had to rent the U-Haul. You know that shit goes by the mile. Oh, it should go. Is it there was a flat expensive. rate that we got a pretty good like discount for the first 100 miles or whatever. But And then we lost the fucking key to the camper. Oh. And that was another hour going to the, so going, stress. We where break was down it? in the, the middle of... On the ground. Don't get that started. I will fight him right now. <laughs> Not you. Um, <laughs> it was on the ground. And there was you a made big that fight very apparent. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. Um, yeah, we were driving to the U-Haul place. A couple people stayed back at that parking lot. And they're, like, they're like, hey, we need to get into the camper. I'm like, okay, use the key that I left you. And they're like, the key isn't here. It was there. <laughs> Someone dropped it. <laughs> Damn. We were like, yeah. like ripping apart the cupboards of the yeah. camper and stuff. Like, where the fuck is this key? I'm like, this is not one goddamn thing that I need to add to my list of stress. Right. I need to find this key. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh. And this was all on the, the day of trying to get to the show. Too, yeah. After right? we yeah. got back with the fucking U-Haul, 16 foot U-Haul to tow the 26 foot camper. Jesus. And so it was were pouring people rain. Out in the camper for the drive. Were they being towed? No, no so we, no one. You, you, you shouldn't drive with someone fit? in the camper. No, we had Cody's truck, which was decommissioned at the time. So yeah. to get back from Indiana area, U-Haul, our bass player's car, and then there was one other car, wasn't there? Is your bass Cassie's. player from Indiana? No, no. How did he get his car? We were, he drove he it drove the, whole the whole tour. Way. Oh, he did. Yes. He wanted to. Yeah. So hmm. I just it helped with like transport like if you need to do a quick like run somewhere instead of bringing the whole fucking rig right right yeah well, right the yeah. good news is we won't have to do that next time because i just bought a car hey. that can seat six people and tow a trailer like for our music shit so we won't have problem. to drive multiple cars and yeah what kind of car wall. was it again it's 2012 dodge durango oh yeah i it's love sick. durangos i love durangos <laughs> we had one i grew sick. up my dad had one when i was growing up they're good they're, they're nice. so nice yeah Especially, you know, like you get to like the newer models. I forget what year I had. You know, like what kind one. of Durango that might. Like well, there's Citadels, there's fucking. That's what she is. What? There's like it's types of Citadel. Durangos. There is. Yes. yes. It's no, all comfy I don't know. inside. I'm not sure. It's got a moonroof. It was definitely the older style. Right. Like the more what? round. Kind of, yeah, at the front. Yeah. At the, yeah, yeah, rounder. That's what my dad had. Yep. Yeah, I love that thing, dude. Fuck yeah. Go Durangos. <laughs> <laughs> well, third row. Like it's a sports team. Go to Durango's. Go Durango's. I had a I had a third row. Yeah. Yeah. You know. There's right. Yeah, there's six seats. We'll probably keep those seats down most of the time. Six, what maybe seven? Well, this is like the luxury version, so like all the seats are like individual and like comfy oh, they leather. Don't have a middle they don't so have they're, they're like, not like bench hard. Yeah, what seats. do they call them? The captain's chair or some bullshit some like bullshit that. Some bullshit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Each it's row is like space, you know, and shit. It's nice. It's comfy enough to sleep in if we can't afford a hotel. Yeah. You know, and you're not right, like, next. It's not where, like, there's three people shoved on a bench so your thighs are right. touching. It's like, <laughs> yes. it's like separate seats. Right. Yeah. But six would be enough. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah the band members seat. and one person with us, I would say. So or whatever. Could, yeah, or, like, a photographer. Or well, a photographer is going to probably end up selling merch. Yeah. Yeah. What you guys are He's playing? He's done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, you know, all in one. I mean, yeah. If we we wanted. Win. We were we're trying to have like not a security guy last time, but a general like when we can't watch over shit, just make sure nothing's yeah. going on. Yeah. For... That fell through. Yeah. Mm. On multiple people. Mm. Well, that would be a boring job. Yeah. Just watch the shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, stay here, watch this shit. Yeah. Stand still over here. Yeah. We're going to go have some fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Hey, uh, stay back here and watch the trailer. Yeah. We're going to go, we're gonna go check out the Grand Canyon. Lost we'll for a minute. Oh, yeah. So this this asshole from uh, Outdoorsy that we got the camper from, there were a few problems with. Can I get a so, water? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. She needs to slam a nice cold hard water <laughs> if we're going to talk about this guy. Thanks. <laughs> There were multiple problems. We'll probably just talk about a couple big ones. You need another Miller Lite? If I'm going to talk about Greg was from Outdoorsy. No, it wasn't. I feel like he had a more pretentious. What was his name? Chad. No, I'm good. I think. What, what was his name? Go on. The, do you still have the app? I don't know. Oh. So the door wouldn't shut on the camper at first. Mm. 
like the, you know, to get in. There was really? shit like flying out the camper on highways. <gasps> yeah. Yep. <sighs> mm-hmm. What um, what flew out of yours? Remember. It was I think a we lost his doormat. Yep, that he charged us ten bucks for. He tried to. <laughs> yeah. After I was a good tenant and took it out so I could sweep. Before so we returned it. the major major thing with him, and he would not budge. And I understand, like we signed a kind of whatever the fuck we had an agreement yeah. for four days. Halfway through the tour, our transmission goes, and we can't tell your camper anymore. We're doing our best and communicating the whole, communicating the whole time, like, hey man, we're gonna get this camper back to you, but just so you know, we're stranded in Indiana. We get it back to him with the U-Haul. They rent a U-Haul just to make sure that we get his camper back on time. We return it two days early because we're all set. We're just going to, once we get back to Michigan with that U-Haul, we drive in like three separate vehicles because they're close enough to home. Right. So we get the camper back to him two days early. And it was what, like a couple hundred a night or something? Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, thanks. Well, can we like, you know, we're go we just lost a transmission. Can you help us out and give us like a day or two off? No, this is a four day rental. Oh, like really? when we already returned it two days early. Like, damn, fuck him too. And then he wants to charge us ten bucks for the rug that flew out because his door wouldn't shut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have his address. He doesn't have ours. Yeah. Like, I was about to fight this dude. His name was Nathaniel. Oh, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> I was about to fight him because I was like, like, I looked at him in his face. Yeah, like he was one of those wimpy, one of those wimpy spineless dudes who like won't make, won't eye, make contact. eye contact with you when he's giving you the news you don't want to hear. Yeah, he's, so no, he's it's like, like a four day rental dude. Yeah. And I'm looking at him in his face and I'm like, we are already like financially devastated right now. Like you can't give us a break. We're returning this thing two days early and you're still gonna charge us the full mm -hmm. price. Yeah. Oh well, if you think about it, <laughs> yeah. if you think about it, I I would be missing out on the potential days this could be rented out. And I'm like, are you constantly rented out every single day? You can't afford it. It was like October, and, dude. Yeah. Don't tell me people are taking that to campsites every weekend. I'm like, mm -hmm. we've rented this thing midweek. Are you telling me that like you would be losing income? If you allow us a break for returning it two days early midweek, and yeah, then he shrieked and ran in this house. Well, according, oh according to the outdoorsy contract, uh, oh. he had zero reviews before we. Uh, we is like, that what it sounded you. like? Not was, that bad, but he was a he was a spineless uh, douchebag. Yeah. The contract says. Uh, I had to walk away, or else I was gonna like. Like I, I get out. it a little bit, but like once we share that, like we're out at least a thousand bucks. I right? Was, you think you'd just be willing to help? Yeah. A little bit. You know? Oh yeah, cut you guys a break or something. One of the days out of the two. Yeah, he probably already spent it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if he turned around and re-rented it. So he charged us those days still. Yeah, and then re-rented it. Yeah, yeah, for the yeah. days that he I'm yeah. sure had he it. did. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he did. I just Fuck made double. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> And then My name's like, Nathaniel. It looks like it looks like there's a, a rug missing. I think I'm gonna have to charge you ten dollars for that rug. Did I'm he like, make you guys stand? You he's, so you guys had to stand there while he was going through like yeah. doing his yes. inspections. Yes. And the check in. Oh. Yep. And while I mean, we're trying to get back to our show, and I'm like, the rug fucking <gasps> right. flew out because we're, we're already late for. Because your jackass door didn't shut correctly like it's supposed to like shut we were going to break into it at first but basically he said we had to like rework the bracket the latch and you have to hold that out while you're closing the door and shit it's stupid it's the most ghetto shit in the world because <laughs> <laughs> someone some previous tenant broke it and he had to like he like homemade a new latch instead yeah, well, of like actually fixing it making things he sucks at making sucks at everything. <laughs> Fucking die. Like Go to hell and die, Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel. Fuck die. you. What's his last name? Uh, br something with a B. I don't remember. Bitch ass. Bitch. Nathaniel, yeah. bitch, bitch ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, that's his name. A bitch ass, oh, Nathaniel. Bitch ass. If you're watching this, my name's Nathaniel. Fuck you, Nathaniel. So that's the Fuck only, that's the only you know. show Michigan. Suck a dick. I'm pretty so sure pissed. our bass player is. So pissed off. Former like Eric got to the show not on time but earlier than us because we had to make a they get, took the car we took the pit stop there mm -hmm. I think we missed maybe the first <laughs> it sounded set. like you said piss stop <laughs> took yeah, a piss stop took a piss stop there pit stop need a piss stop no oh, piss sorry hair I felt car. bad I didn't want to miss like the <laughs> opening band on our home show yeah like yeah. I bought a couple shirts and it all sucks. that but what, dude shit happens man and then they thought been, you weren't gonna make it have you ever yes, been to honestly. Ham Tramic. Yeah, which, you know. We, which bar? Sanctuary. So old oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we had to park this 26-foot <laughs> camper oh and 16-foot In front of it. In Hamtramck. Oh, I and, fucking hate driving around And Eric town. was standing in, in an alleyway like, come on, come on. Like we could fit it in this little alleyway. And we're like, bro, we, we can't 
fit this thing that's in there. That's with the like, U-Haul and the camper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we parked in like a parking feet. lot and had to haul our shit. It was like a whole thing. Mm. But yeah, the show was fun. Yeah. Dude, we made fuck it. that. Yeah. It was fun. I right? fucking hate. I, I'd have to drive like it was about probably 30 foot total with the truck and the trailer through Hamtramck and shit. Yep. Yeah. And it was I fucking hated it, mm-hmm. dude, cuz they I'd have to pick up uh broken cleaning equipment from schools, so like okay. scrubbers and like you know the, the Zambonis and shit. Yeah. And I'd have to back that son of a bitch into that these fucking bitch. small ass areas in these downtown schools down oh, there. Yeah. Fuck so all so that. Much. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. we all bullshit. Sca- I'd say that another fun thing that happened is we almost died of getting struck by lightning while we were <laughs> sleeping. That was really Indiana night. There was a crazy thunderstorm, and this lightning in the middle of the night was so loud. I thought it hit the top of the we camper. Were, mm-hmm. We were parking obviously at truck stops, but like <laughs> with the camper and even the truck, not the U-Haul. And then the one extra car, we were parking like in the semi parking. So you line right, all, right. you line all that up, we're almost as long as a semi. So we're yeah. out in the open. It's a weeknight. There's like forty spots for semis, only two or three. We're all separated, like stay away from me. Lightning <laughs> <laughs> don't Cody, come by. Cody's us. cuddled up in his truck me. cab he with a forty. Just just like... truck. Mm. <laughs> Lightning struck, no exaggeration, probably less than twenty feet from where we were parked. Mm. And we all it like woke storm. up. It sh- and yeah, I remember like, like it's like two in the morning and I JJ's like I have a sleep on his phone. Can Jacob Listen. survive lightning strikes? Like, <laughs> oh my God. fucking upside down. He's like. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was going to do if I said no. Right. Well, like, I guess yeah, we no fucking shit. died. If right. I die, I want to know about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. That's lightning. Dude, it's so well, fucking It woke loud. everyone up. Like, it, the light alone was, like. Blinding. <laughs> Blinded by the light. I'm assuming everyone's seen Ripped light. up like a douche. Okay, what does he actually say? I don't. Let's argue about it's, it right now. That song makes me deuce. uncomfortable because that's all I hear. That's all I hear. Rolling I up a deuce, a deuce in the middle of the night. I, t- I turn the I station every time. This is wrapped up like a what? Deuce, you're saying? Yeah. 